the thing that I most wanted to kind of dive into was our little discussion about the Mandalorian. Which is big news. New original tables, right? How good is that? Like we've been, a lot of people have been wondering what Zen's vision is with that. And here we are, we got confirmation that we got brand new ones coming, which is awesome. Right, and so obviously Mel was only able to confirm the Mandalorian, and when yeah. pushed if that meant that we might finally get, you know, episode 9, or would it be a table pack, obviously he said, I'm not even going to attempt to go beyond <laughs> what I've been cleared to say. No. So, Jared, putting mm -hmm. on your speculation hat, do you think Mandalorian is going to be a single table pack, or do you think it's going to be more? It's going to be an interesting one, isn't it? Because Mandalorian is is an individually licensed show, right? It's a Netflix production, correct? No, it's um, a uh, Disney Plus production. Disney Plus. I knew it was one of those. Like, please insert streaming service here. I don't know which ones there. There's too many these days, right? Um, but you're right, Disney Plus. They have all the things. So, it is within the same house as um, Star Wars. Correct. Um, so would be licensed probably around the same you could say you know you probably kick it over the fence and say yes you know it's probably licensed around the same area so yeah you could you could suggest that there could be something else released with the pack like the, they they have zen do have precedents where they've done single packs before we've got portal and we've got the walking dead um which are just single table packs only because on the one only, hand with Mandalorian, that bring the Star Wars packs up to 20 tables. Yes. If you add more, now you're back into, uh oh now we're doing others uh, beyond the 20. But would they necessarily step outside of Mandalorian for licensing purposes? Because it would be fun to just say, hey, this is the Mandalorian pack. And therefore, would it be themed like... Much like what they do, where they'll do an, an offshoot or spin-off table, like Octo Island or something. Like that. Right, right. Yeah. So, would it be just that? And then again, are we talking about one additional table? So it's a two pack, or would it be a three pack? I mean, lean towards a two pack is what I'm kind of. You reckon a sensing. two? Why do you think two? Um, it's just a gut See, feeling. It, more I've, than anything. I've got a problem in that I have not seen The Mandalorian season one yet. Um, so I'm running on no information about what content could be in The Mandalorian. Right. It's essentially like me going and playing the Rick and Morty table, which has just landed at Netherworld, by the way. I have no prior art with that game. I won't get any of the in-jokes. Because I haven't seen second season, and the fact that there's going to be a couple of months before... Uh, Zen even puts out this pack from the time that season two ends of Mandalorian. It's very possible that there's other characters that have popped up that they decide to do an offshoot table of related to that. But based off of the first season, it doesn't feel like there's enough characters that would uh, want an extra, uh, like an offshoot table. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, so that's kind of my that's kind of my guess, and the the fact that he was cagey about, I mean, he Mel didn't even want to say whether it would be included as part of FX three, which it's going to be part of FX <laughs> three. Mm, I, I would think so. Um, uh, I mean, look, they have in the past. We know this. They have gone and licensed separate apps to get extra exposure in the app store. Yeah, um, they've done that with Star Wars. I mean, that's why we see these offshoot packs now, because it gives them the flexibility also to try out new new things in those packs as well. Well, and certainly for the mobile market, I see it. Mm. Yeah, I think if it, if it comes out of mobile, it will be probably standalone. Absolutely. Because then Zen like uh, Zen Pinball on Android, like it's it's hasn't received any new games um, for ages now. Like it's they now concentrate on those packs. The branded packs because that's what the uh the licensors want now they want that extra bit of um exposure on the app store with their product trademarks and graphics all over it that's how they want it now well i'm trying to so. think because other than the williams tables 
the last packs that were delivered were the Jurassic Park tables. And I don't you're right, I don't know if they didn't get they didn't get their own release on mobile. No, Jurassic they, Park didn't. I don't know if it's actually part of the Zen store. I should look. Here, kill time, Jared. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Th it's weird because they they sort of stopped doing it because I don't think they did it. Uh, they did do it for Doom. I'm pretty sure, right? Yes, Doom. Doom. The the, the, it's the Bethesda. It's the Bethesda pack. So the Skyrim Bethesda. and Fallout and Doom and That's Aliens right. also had its own pack. Standalone pack. Yeah. Yeah. I think those those two were the start of this whole idea of releasing new packs with subtly different features in it and well you know, star wars pinball also had its own app yes that's right mm -hmm. on mobile Let's again, see. for the same reasons because they want to try they want to try those different things in those apps that they just can't do if it's bundled within the same major ecosystem like zen pinball on android they they need those separated packs to be able to try unusual things um and i have a feeling that wasn't the mobile version of Star Wars, the one where they introduced the light and dark side of the Force, or was that only on Switch? No, there was. Uh, so the mobile v app had an early incarnation of that, mm. and then it got refined for the Switch, yeah, even see, more. That's a classic case of experimentation. Yeah, in in, in the wild. Yeah. So that's, so that's, yeah. Looking looking at the uh, the Zen Pinball app on my phone, uh, if you go under the Universal Tables. Jurassic Park not there. Jurassic Park has its own tab. Ah, yes. That's right. So, so I mean, the app has been updated to to get that. Yeah, that's good. But that's been a while. It has been a while. Yeah, for sure. So it's very possible that rather than Mandalorian going to the Star Wars tab, that Mandalorian will just have its own tab then. 